الحمد لله الذي خلقنا وعلمنا ما لم نكن نعلم نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونشكره أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد my dear brothers and my dear sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته all praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He Allah who created us. He Allah who taught us that which we knew not. We glorify him and we thank him for his protection, for his guidance, for his sustenance. We thank him for all his bounties and favors and blessings that he has bestowed upon us. I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah. He is alone and he has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, thank you for spending these past few days with us, reflecting with our speakers from various parts of the world on our theme, Living a Legacy, how we live is what we leave. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forever increase our speakers with knowledge. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to strengthen and guide them. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, this weekend these past few days we were reminded that our legacy is based on faith that since the beginning of time the message was the message of la ilaha illallah that there is none to be worshipped but allah and this was what was handed down to us this was what was passed down from generation to generation. This was the teaching of the prophets who came before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La ilaha illallah. There is none to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is it that our speakers reminded us of during this weekend? They reminded us of faith. They reminded us of Iman, that we should strive to maintain that which was handed down to us in terms of our faith in our Creator, in terms of our faith in our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَيْسَ الْإِيمَانِ بِالْتَمَنِّي وَلَكِنْ مَا وَقَرَ فِي الْقَلْبِ وَصَدَّقَهُ الْعَمَلِ Iman is not a mere wish or hope, but Iman is that which is registered in the heart and it is being approved by the limbs of the body. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about strength in our faith and he said, المؤمن القوي خير وأحب إلى الله من المؤمن الضعيف that the strong believer is better and more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the weak believer. And so the legacy that was handed down to us with regards to faith, it's a legacy that we need to continue to protect, we need to continue to strengthen in that we need to make sure that generations to come, that they will have that strong faith and that strong Iman with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We were also reminded of character, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came as a role model, that he came to teach us right from wrong. He came to teach us good manners, good behavior. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Al-Quran, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ 
liman kana yarju Allah wal yawm al akhir that in the prophet of Allah in the messenger of Allah is a perfect example for you those who hope to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who have the expectation of the hereafter they believe in the hereafter that there is a life to come there is a life after this life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And you are of an exalted nature. This was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he came and he taught us to be generous, to be kind, to be loving. He taught us to have empathy. And we saw that demonstrated in the lives of the companions such as Abu Bakr, May Allah be pleased with him. And Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. Our scholars reminded us of the generosity of Abu Bakr and the, the kindness of him, how often he would go out and look to help people, how often he would look to spend his wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They reminded us of Umar ibn al-Khattab and how he would go out on the outskirts of Medina looking for opportunities to help the less fortunate. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِنَّمَا بُعِثُّ لِئْتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمَ الْأَخْلَاقِ Verily, I have been sent to perfect morality, to perfect behavior. This was our holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the legacy that he passed on to us. This is the legacy that we ought to live. This is the legacy that we want to pass on to generations to come, to our children, to our grandchildren, to those who will come after them. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we were told to hold fast to our deen, to make sure that we do not deviate, that it is easy for us to be misled. There are so many distractions in the world today, and we were told not to run after the dunya, not to run after this world, but to make sure that we look for the hereafter because the hereafter is lasting and the hereafter is better. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tulhikum amwalukum wa la awladukum an dhikrillah. O you who believe, do not make your wealth and your children prevent you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There should be nothing in this world that should distract us from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There should be nothing in this world that will cause us to deviate from that which was given to us, that legacy that was passed on to us by our predecessors, by those who came before us. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we were also reminded that we have a responsibility and our responsibility is to engage in da'wah, to invite people to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it's our responsibility to give the message. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ballighu anni walaw aya. Spread what you heard from me, even though it may be one single ayah, one single verse. And we are being told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Waltakum minkum umma yad'una ilal khair, wa ya'muruna bil ma'roof, wa yanhawna anil munkar. Let there arise out of you a group of people who will invite to that which is good. They will enjoin right and they will forbid evil. And those are the ones who will prosper. Those are the ones who will be successful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the best of people. 
and he said, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ كَأَوْلَمْ مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And who is better in speech than the one who invites to Allah? The one who is always engaged in the doing of good. The one who submits his life to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we were reminded that it is all about engaging in goodness, engaging in that which our fitra teaches us. That's the natural way. We were all created in that way. Kullu mauludin yulad ala fitra. Every one of us is born with that inclination towards goodness. And so we must always engage in doing good, in spreading goodness in, in the world. We, our speakers reminded us that we must be witnesses unto other people in terms of making sure that we carry out the injunctions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made, it, made incumbent upon us. Part of our iman, our faith, is that we should love for others that which we love for ourselves. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسي None of you is a true believer until and unless he loves for his brother that which he loves for himself. And so we are to love for people that which we love for ourselves. We, we were reminded that we should be kind to our neighbors. Man kana yu'minu billah wal yawm al-akhir fal yukrim jarahu he who believes in Allah and the last day, let him be kind and generous to his neighbors. We, we, we were also reminded that our legacy, it's a legacy of love. It's a legacy of kindness. In that every moment of our lives, we should always strive to demonstrate that love and kindness to others. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we were reminded that our legacy is a legacy of togetherness. Yes, there are things that we will do by ourselves, but together we can accomplish so much. And, and so togetherness should always be our focus. Our legacy, it is not a legacy of hatred and despite and unkindness. It's not a legacy of enmity. It's not a legacy of disunity. We should always be united, united in building masajid, in building institutions, united in making sure that we are of benefit to others. We do, do not only build, but we, we also make sure that whatever we build, it must be beneficial to others. We were told that if we want to have good legacies, that we need to make sure that we befriend those who will help us to leave good things behind. And so we must make sure that we are being surrounded by good people, people who will help us in accomplishing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained for us. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Al-mar'u ala deeni khalilihi. فَلْيَنْذُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالِلْ A man is upon the way of his friend. So look to whom you befriend. And so it's important that we surround ourselves 
with good people, people who will help us to be successful both in this life and in the life hereafter. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we were often reminded this weekend that when we leave this world, that there are three things that will benefit us even after our demise. And here Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِذَا مَاتَ إِبْنُ آدَمْ إِنْ قَتَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ صَدَقَةٍ جَارِيَةٍ أَوْ عِلْمٍ يُنْتَفَعُ بِهِ أَوْ وَلَدٍ صَالِحٍ يَدْعُوا لَهُمْ When any one of us dies, all our deeds come to an end, except three. Sadaqa Jariya, a perpetual charity, like the building of institutions, the building of masajid, build, you know, building wells, building bridges, giving water, clean water to people. These are Sadaqa Jariya. They will be of immense reward for us even after we have departed this world. Ilmun yuntafa'u bihim. Knowledge which will benefit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our four parents. They did not have what we have today. They were not as educated as the people of present day. But whatever little they knew, they passed it on. And so they taught us how to say Bismillah before eating. They taught us how to say Alhamdulillah after eating. They taught us the basic of prayers and fasting during the month of Ramadan. They taught us that it is important for us to be generous, to give charity. They, they establish masajid. They establish institutions it's so that uh, people can benefit from these institutions. The little that they knew, they made sure that Islam was ever present in their lives and in the lives of their progeny. And so may Allah bless them and reward them for this little knowledge. They, they, they are being benefited today from it because their children continue to pass on these, this knowledge to others. And then the third thing, that we are told about pious children, leaving pious children behind, that these children will continue to pray for you and they will be a source of blessings for you even after you have departed this world. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we have inherited a very rich legacy. We need to practice it we need to stay focused. We need to make sure that uh, we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we continue to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us. And we also need to make sure that we guide our children, our families, to adopt this legacy that was handed down to us. You know, in the world that we live in today, we strive to make our children doctors and engineers and attorneys. We strive to give them the best of academic education. And sometimes we tend to forget about passing down that legacy to them. It's important that we make them the best Muslim doctors and the best Muslim engineers and the best Muslim attorneys. We, we, we must make sure that we give them that education of the deen that would be solid in them and that they will be able to pass it on to their children and their grandchildren, those who will come after them. 
my dear brothers and my dear sisters, it is not all about just our faith, our Iman. It is not just all about our character. It is also about us making sure that we benefit those who we are being surrounded by. And, and that is where it comes to our civic engagement, our civic responsibilities. You know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he talked about the most loved of us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, the most loved of us are those who are most beneficial to the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we have responsibilities. You know, we live in an environment in which we need to help to protect. We live in an environment in which there are all sorts of people and we need to bring that whatever we love for ourselves, we need to also make sure that it happens for them. And so we need to work together. We are living at a time when there is so much chaos and corruption, oppression, injustice. And we cannot only expect other people to speak on these topics and we do not say anything ourselves. You know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man ra'a minkum munkaran fal yughayirhu biyadihi fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi wa thalika ad'af al iman he who sees a wrong from among you let him change it with his hand and if he is not able to change it with his hand let him change it with his tongue speak against it and if he is not able to change it with his tongue let him hate it in his heart and that is the weakest of faith. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, here in America, we have the opportunity to make a difference in our communities. The, the, the census is being taken right now, something that is being done every 10 years. Let us make sure that we are being counted. And so let us complete that survey the census survey and be counted so that so much resources can come to our communities. This is a time of election. And here again is our civic responsibility. Let us get engaged and make sure that our voices are being heard and that we have been given some rights. Exercise those rights. Make sure that you go out and that you vote and that you, you vote for that which is right. These are things that we need to do. This is part of our legacy that we want to leave, that we have done right by ourselves and that we are doing right by others. You know, we make prayers and we say, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us truth as truth and help us to guide it and to show us falsehood as falsehood and help us to stay away from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us, reward us for everything that we do in order to maintain that legacy that was handed down to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us so that we pass down a good legacy to our children, to our grandchildren and generations to come. We pray like 
the prophets before us, they prayed. Zachariah, he prayed and he said, Rabbi habli mil ladunka zuriyatan toyiba in naka samir dua. O my Lord, grant me from you a pious family, for you are the one who answers prayers. We pray like Ibrahim alayhi salam when he said, Rabbi jalni muqeem as salat wa min zuriyati rabbana wa taqabbal dua. O my Lord, Make me from among those who will establish prayers, and from my progeny, those who will also establish prayers. And we pray like the believers before us. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata ayun. Our Lord, grant us from our wives and our children the comfort of our eyes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and protect us. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in knowledge. We once again thank you, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, for spending your weekend with the Kama 2020 Convention. We thank our speakers for enlightening us and focusing on our topic, our theme, living a legacy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and to help us to continue to live this legacy, the legacy of faith the legacy of character, the legacy of togetherness, the legacy of unity. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to continue to live this legacy of taqwa, piety, righteousness, God-fearingness, this legacy of enjoining right and forbidding evil. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. ولسائر المؤمنين والمؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. I say this to you, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for my forgiveness and for your forgiveness. And I turn to him sincerely in repentance. Once again, thank you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you, protect all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik. A'udhu bilahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Walas. Inna l-insana la fi khus. Illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haq. Wa tawasaw bil-sab. Sadaqallahu al-azim.